Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day, and it's Matthew 26, 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Now on to the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the plot thickens. As you can see right there, directly earth-facing, it's sunspot 3423. I went over it in yesterday's video, and in Strong's Bible Concordance, it means betrothed. And it's growing. But here's what's gigantinormous. Comet Nishimura versus the sun. Comet Nishimura has just crossed the orbit of Mercury and en route to the sun. And I showed you in a previous video, when you turn on the landscape in Stellarium, this comet is headed straight down toward the Earth. And as you can see right there, it's on the horizon. And look how long the tail is. But focus on the horizon. Because when you go to astronomy.com, it's right here. When a comet is close to the horizon, like Nishimura, the dust tail might appear ominously red. And right under that, look, it says, such a sight combined with the dust tail's curve, nature, led early sky watchers to see them as blood-stained swords. And remember, they're looking at these comets through optic lenses, telescopes, and binoculars. But early sky watchers, when they seen them with their naked eye, they looked like blood-stained swords. Comets looked like blood-stained swords, like a red dragon. And as you can see right here on Earth Sky, it says that it will be the closest to the Earth on September 12th. And it'll be closest to the sun on September 17th. On the eastern horizon. And on the astronomy picture of the day, you can see right below it says Comet Nishimura is growing. More precisely, the tails are growing as it nears the sun. And as you can see right here, the meaning of Nishi means getting stronger, growing stronger and stronger. Well, here's where it gets gigantinormous because in Russia, Mura means bitter, like wormwood. And remember, this comet was discovered on 8-11 this year. The star, Gale, which means wormwood, was discovered on 8-11. And Revelation 8-11 is wormwood. And as you can see right here on Starwalk, it says Comet Nishimura, the brightest comet 2023, can be visible to the naked eye now. So if you're up early, 4 or 5 a.m., you can go out and look to the east and you might be able to spot it. And remember, it will be on the horizon and it will be brightening. And remember, I showed you at astronomy.com, it's right there, highlighted in purple. If the comet looms close to the horizon, they turn red, like the dragon. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, a great red dragon. And early sky watchers, it's right under that, seen them as blood-stained swords. And I know a lot of you are thinking, well, this comet's green. Well, don't be surprised when you see it and it's red. Now, are you ready for some Matthew 24 biblical birth pain confirmation, family? Because it's right here. Last night, I felt led to look up Morocco in Stellarium, but there was nothing there. So I looked up Marrakesh, and it wasn't there either. And I felt like it was a shot in the dark anyway. But then I seen that Casablanca was in the highlighted area in one of the closest cities. So I looked it up. Did Casablanca feel the earthquake? And you can see in the highlighted area that they felt it in the coastal cities. Casablanca! And you can see right there that now the death toll is over 2,000. So I decided to look up Casablanca and then call it a night. And this was yesterday when I looked it up and it was right there on the woman's heart. So I went to the 18th and you could see that Comet Nishimura is headed right for Casablanca, family. So I went to the 19th and as you can see, the comet is approaching Casablanca. And I'll show you in Stellarium right now. This is today, live. And as you go through the days, you could see the Comet Nishimura headed for the woman. Right here, you can see that it 
barely misses Casablanca on 919, the Revelation 12 sign. Well, here's why this is so gigantinormous. And most of you know that Casa means house, Mikasa. Well, when you look up the Casa Bible meaning, it means church. Casa, one of the names anciently used to denote a church. And Blanca means white and pure. Like the church made white and pure by the blood of Christ Jesus. And Casa Blanca together means white house. Imagine that. These are the birth pains, family. We're about to go home. And as you can see right there, why is Casablanca place so famous? Casablanca boasts the largest mosque in Morocco and one of the most spectacular in the world, the striking Hassan II Mosque, an important place of Islamic worship. So I'm sure you can figure out why that place just got rocked. Now together, let's put it together, family. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. The woman is clothed with the sun and the moon's under her feet, and the crown of 12 stars is there. I showed you those stars are the Virginie stars. And there's 61 Virginie stars, but the first 12 are right on her head. And if you switch Stellarium to Arabic, you can see the crown. There's the woman, and there's Casablanca, and there's Nishimuru. And when you zoom in, I told you. The crown is there, family. On her head, like I've been telling everyone. All glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. A brother sent this to me. It's not just me seeing this, family. And all glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, for showing me child. And I showed you on 726, July 26, that the child was in the womb. On the 15th, the expected Feast of Trumpets date, that's when it comes past the line. Revelation 12, verse 2, and she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Verse 3, and there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. And when you zoom in. You can see that the comet, the dragon, is right above Casablanca. And as you go through the days to the 20th, on the 19th, it passes Casablanca. Verse 4, And his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up raptured, harpazoed unto God and to his throne. The man-child, Jesus Christ, he's the head. We're the body of Christ. We are the child family. And right when this dragon, the comet, swings its tail to go sideways and cuts left through the woman, it passes Casablanca, the church made pure and white, and I got the Holy Spirit all over me, all glory to you, Father, in your name above every name, Jesus Christ, we're going home, family. And praise God, I'm about to show you three more gigantinormous stars. And I already put them on the heavenly billboard, and we'll start with Psyche. It's leaving the scale on the 19th. And Psyche means soul. Right when Vera's leaving the scale, and remember I showed you Vera? means faith. And there's another star right there named Shauna. And Shauna means mercy. God is merciful. God is merciful. And his mercy is new every morning. And I saved the best for last, family. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Praise him now. Praise him loud. And Nishimura will be passing it and it's Anastasia. And in Greek and Russian, it means resurrection. With a definition closely bound to faith, it says. And guess what pops up when you type in and search Greek word for resurrection? And when you scroll down, it's the same Strong's Concordance that I went over yesterday because I was at 386 emails when I did the video before that, family. It's right there. 
Christ's physical resurrection is the foundation of Christianity, which also guarantees the future resurrection of all believers. And I got the Holy Spirit all over me. The holy dove bumps. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The resurrection. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Throw your hands up and praise him because he's coming to get us.